This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. This lesson is part of the Express course, where it's Lesson 17, and part of Course D, where it's Lesson 14. If else with B Puzzle 10. Look carefully at the code below. What do you think will happen after you click Run? Remember, there will only be <laughs> one honeycomb or one flower behind each cloud. Okay, so as a teacher, I know if you're uh, for the students, if my students click on one of these and hit run, one, their answer is locked. They can't change it. Two, it is submitted and I get it. I know their answers, right? And they can't change them. So make sure you do this carefully. Let's talk about it together. When run, wall path ahead do. So I know right away everything inside of this pink uh, block is going to happen as long as there's a path ahead. So it will happen until the bee gets to the here. If at flower, oh no, first I'll move forward. Okay, that would make sense. And then I'm going to check if I'm at a flower. If I'm at a flower, I'll get the nectar. If I'm not at a flower, and remember, and in an if statement, if else, only one line will ever run. So if I'm at a flower, I get the nectar, and that's it. I'm done. I skip else. And then I go back. I, I go underneath, hit the bottom of my loop, go back and check for a path. If so, I move forward. If not at a flower, I say false. No, you're not at a flower. Then and I skip the do and do the else, and I make honey automatically. Then I go to the bottom again. Boop. So you're only going to run one of these. Okay, so every move forward, and then I move forward. I move forward, and I check. I move forward, and I check. Hmm. Uh, that sounds good. The bee will get nectar and honeycomb. We'll get nectar at each flower and honey at each honeycomb. Well, yeah, because I'm checking if I'm out of flower, I'm going to get the nectar. Otherwise, I'm going to make honey, and then I wall path ahead. I keep moving forward and checking. Yeah, I think it's that. Let's see. Ta-da! Awesome. Let's keep going.